Okay, uh, hello everybody, and let me show you how to solve uh, this problem. Okay, so the problem asks us to find uh, the fourth digit sum uh, of this quantity. So first recall what uh, we mean uh, with a digit sum. So for example, the digit sum of 99, uh, this is working in base 10, we add uh, the digits. So 9 plus 9 is 18. And then uh, the second digit sum is, is, is applying the digit sum to the answer. Uh, so in this case, the second digit sum, uh, and when we write D for the digit sum operator, second digit sum is going to be the digit sum of 18, going to be 1 plus 8, which is going to be 9. Okay, and now we want to. Uh, find the fourth digit sum, so four times after each other, applying this digit sum operator of the minimum of these two numbers. So we have 20 uh, factorial to the power of 21 factorial, and we have 2021 factorial, and then uh, that whole quantity factorial, we're not doing some uh, double factorial or something, uh, if you would know what that means. Uh, okay, so. Uh, uh, so we first have to find out which one of these is the lowest, or equivalently, which one is the biggest. Uh, and to do so, uh, we'll, we're going to show uh, that this one's the biggest. And we'll be doing it by showing that 2021 uh, factorial, and then factorial all over. 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial is going to be bigger than 1. Okay, you know, how are we going to show this? Well, uh, here uh, uh, on the top we have uh, a lot of numbers uh, multiplied by each other. How many? Well, there are 2021 factorial numbers of these. And um, every once in a while we're uh, coming across a multiple of 20 factorial. And what we're going to do is every time we see one, we're going to cancel it with one uh, from the bottom. And on the bottom there are a 21 factorial of these uh, 20 factorial uh, factors. Uh, okay, so um, how many times um, will there be uh, an... Uh, uh, do we come across a multiple of 20 factorial on the top? Well, that will be 2021 factorial, all over 20 factorial. Yeah, and, and then we actually have to take a floor of that. Um, but uh, uh, if you know what that means, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we want to show that uh, up front we come across at least uh, 21 factorial of these factors of 20 factorial. Uh, because then we can cancel them and there, there's loads of stuff uh, uh, still present in the top. So then it will be certainly bigger than 1. Uh, so we're going to show that this is bigger than uh, 21 factorial. Now, and um, I actually don't want to deal with this floor, so we're just going to show that um, uh, this thing is bigger than 22 factorial and it will be definitely bigger than uh, 21 factorial. Uh, okay, and in the same time we're going to multiply the 20 factorial to the other side. So we're going to show that 2021 factorial is bigger than 20 factorial, 22 factorial. Uh, and this is actually quite obvious because if you look at uh, how we calculate 2021 factorial, it's going to be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, dot, 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 then at some point we'll come across 20. So uh, here we see we already have 20 uh, factorial. And then uh, the part after this is going to be 21, 22, etc. Until some factor uh, 42. Uh, and you see this is going to be bigger than 1, this is bigger than 2, this is bigger than 22, so this action will be uh, bigger uh, than uh, 22 factorial. And there's a lot of stuff hereafter as well. So uh, this um, inequality is clear. So then uh, from this is uh, follows all the way to the top that uh, 
this actually is uh, oh oops that uh, uh, 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial is actually the minimum uh, okay so now we've reduced our problem to finding the fourth uh, digit sum of uh, this number 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial and notice that I wrote uh, the fourth digit sum by uh, this 4 as a superscript uh, and for this we're going to use this nice uh, inequality so if we show that a number a is going to be uh, strictly less than uh, uh, 10 to the power of b minus 1 that means that we can replace all the digits of a uh, with a 9 that is first uh, b digits and we know that the digit sum of a will be uh, strictly less than 9 times b so we're going to use that uh, inequality so uh, 20 factorial uh, to the power of 21 factorial it's a little bit hard to work with so we're gonna uh, create something bigger uh, so we're going to say 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial it's uh, strictly less than uh, now here uh, on the bottom uh, we can replace each factor with a factor of 20 so we get 20 to the power of 20 and uh, here on the top we'll replace everything with a 21 so we get 21 to the power of 21 uh, and using exponent rules we can uh, work this out uh, this is going to be equal to uh, 20 to the power of 20 times 21 to the power of 21 and 20 is going to be strictly less than 21 so this is uh, less than 20 to the power of 21 to the power of 22 okay um, yeah, but actually for using uh, this trick we have up here I'm gonna box it this is the main trick we'll be using and to find this uh, four digits on we have to uh, have some power of 10 uh, uh, but we can quite easily uh, get such a thing with uh, such an inequality by saying this is going to be strictly less then uh, 100 to all of this power and then subtracting 1 it will be definitely bigger and 100 is uh, 10 to the power of 2 uh, so we'll just say this is strictly less than 10 to the power of 2 times 21 to the power of 22 and then uh, subtract 1 uh, okay so then we can uh, we can create our first inequality for the digit sum so the first digit sum of 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial will be strictly less than 9 times this exponent so 9 times 2 times 21 to the power of 22 9 times 1 is 18 18 is less than 21 so this is going to be less than uh, 21 to the power of 23 okay um, now we'll be using the same trick so we'll say that this is less than uh, 100 to the power of 23 uh, but 100 is 10 to the power of 2 so uh, this is going to be less than 10 to the power of 46 and we multiply the 2 by the 23 and then we can subtract 1 uh, okay so the, we see that the second digit sum of 21 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial uh, is going to be less than 9 times this exponent 46 and well uh, this is more, it's definitely uh, less than um, uh, 1000 minus 1 and because this is less than uh, 10 this is less than uh, 100 and uh, well definitely uh, uh, way less than uh, a thousand so uh, we can subtract one and yeah, this is 10 to the third minus one uh, so we can apply the same trick so to see that uh, okay so now I'm going to use this superscript notation the third digit sum of 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial is going to be less uh, than uh, 9 times 3 uh, and 9 times 3 is 27 and 27 is most definitely less than 99 and which is going to be 10 squared minus 1 
so all in all, uh, we can uh, use the same trick again. And we find that the four digit sum of 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial is going to be less than uh, uh, 9 times 2 or 18. Okay, um, so well, uh, what have we got on this? It seems like we have still uh, 17 numbers to go. Uh, uh, that could be our digit sum. But actually, uh, remember this, this this funny uh, rule that uh, when you calculate the digit sum of a number, uh, divisibility uh, by 9 uh, gets preserved. Uh, so, um, actually, uh, yeah, our first number, 20 factorial to the power of 21 factorial, uh, that is most definitely... Uh, divisible by 9, yeah, because 9 is less than 20, and so when we multiply the first uh, 20 numbers together, we'll definitely also hit a 9, and then we multiply it with itself 21 factorial times, so uh, it will be definitely divisible by 9. So our digit sum, our first digit sum, will be divisible by 9, and then our second, and then our third, and our fourth uh, as well. So we need to look for numbers that are divisible by 9, less than 18. And, well, there are actually two of them. We've got 0 and we've got 9. Uh, but of course, we can't get uh, a digit sum of uh, 0, because then all the digits would need to be 0, because negative digits inside uh, some number would be very strange. Uh, and definitely the number we started with wasn't 0, so we can rule out this possibility, or that doesn't really work, let me use this thing again, uh, okay, so it can be 0 and it needs to be 9, 